Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Foliage. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, today we'll be discussing about the uses of Moss Pole and how it can be used. Now guys, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just take the Moss Pole stick and just poke it into the soil. That's it. But there are certain things that you need to keep in mind if you're using a Moss Pole stick. And that's exactly what we are going to be talking in this video. Now guys, in the market, you will find two types of pole stick. One is going to be a Moss Pole stick that you're seeing right now now this was purchased from the affordable organic store it costed me around 149 rupees for a two feet of moss pole stick they also have one feet of moss stick which is costing around 99 rupees so if you want to buy them i'll put the website link in the description below you can check it out now guys i had no clue about this website earlier but when i went to my local supermarket where they have these uh, gardening equipments uh, the moss pole was costing very expensive over there and rather than buying that i went ahead and bought a coir pole because as i said there are two types of pole the coir pole is less expensive as compared to the moss pole but again it pretty much does the work it will both work uh, efficiently but the coir pole takes a little time for it to get adjusted to your plant so what exactly is a moss pole now guys i have seen in my neighborhood a lot of people just randomly tend to use a moss stick or a moss pole now guys there is a reason why it has to be used only for certain plants now the reason is because because your moss stick tends to act like your extended vertical growing media so you will have to choose the plants that can go along with this especially plants that are epiphyte epiphyte plants are the ones that tend to grow their roots above the soil they have the roots in the soil as well as over the period of time they tend to put out aerial roots on their stem and those aerial roots in nature they tend to get attached on a tree trunks or a branches and that's how they tend to grow now if you're talking about house plants there are a couple of epiphyte house plants like you have your philodendrons you have your pothos uh, you have anthoriums and there are a couple more of them that would work out really well for your uh, moss stick or a moss pole now please do not use plants like uh, caladium alocasias or a rose flowering plant or flowering plants or even for that matter a snake plant these guys will not work out very well for your moss poles so guys at the end of the day it is your choice you can use any plant that you want to use your a moss pole for but a lot of people think that a moss pole is just for a support it's not actually a support it's basically an extended vertical growing media so your pothos philodendrons anthoriums and other epiphyte plants will tend to grow very well on this they will start to anchor their roots as you can see over here all you have to do is just push the node with the roots closer to the moss pole and you'll have to either use a string or uh, probably a pin to tie the stem around it so that uh, the stems can push against the moss pole and as and when the plant tends to grow those roots will insert more deeper into the moss pole or the coir stick so that's the reason why i said when you're choosing a plant use a plant that is epiphyte that will work out really well for your moss pole because you want to make full use of the moss pole or the moss stick if you're going to use a flowering plant that only tends to put its roots in the soil it is not going to make any sense and if you want to use any kind of support for a plant because it's growing too tall and if it's a non-epiphyte plant then it's better to use a regular stick because all you need to do is just give a support for that you do not need to waste a moss pole stick because it can come really handy if you have epiphytic plants then it is going to work out really well now i have one of my uh, monstera adansonii that is kept for propagation the roots have already started to emerge so very soon i'll be using one of the moss pole for uh, my monstera as well because monstera is also an epiphyte plant in nature in its natural habitat it also tends to grow on tree bark or on tree branches as well it tends to take support and then starts growing onto it by latching the roots so i think my monstera adansonia i would love a moss pole stick or a coir stick now as i said both are very effective be it a coir stick or a moss stick both are very effective in growing uh, they will work as a extended vertical growing media but there is a small difference and the small difference is uh, when you're going to water always remember guys always uh, moisten your uh, moss stick or a coir stick because eventually when the plant will start to grow it is going to anchor its roots into the pole so if you're going to keep it moist it will be even more helpful for the plant not only 
you need to water the soil but also moisten the moss stick or the coir stick now guys what i would also suggest is whenever you are watering you can even add a little bit of uh, liquid fertilizer in the water and then uh, use that water on the moss pole so what's going to happen is the moss pole is going to have a lot of nutrients and it's going to be very easy for the plant the new roots that are going to anchor into the moss pole they will also be able to take the benefit of uh, the fertilizers from the moss pole now guys as you seen when i was watering uh, the moss pole stick you could see that the water was quickly getting absorbed as you can see over here as soon as i'm watering the uh, moss stick you can see that the water is quickly getting absorbed inside. Now let me show you when I'm going to water the coir stick what's going to happen. Now because the coir tends to uh, repel water because initially when the coir is dry it will uh, repel the water away from the pole and the water is going to fall everywhere. But it will take a couple of minutes and then once the coir is wet it will start to absorb water into it. So it is going to take some time that is the only disadvantage of using a coir stick because it takes some time for it to get wet and only once it is wet it will start to absorb water right now you can see over here it is now a wet the coir stick is now wet so it is able to absorb the water into the coir but uh, our moss pole stick was able to absorb water on the first go itself so this is the only small little difference you'll have to put in a little bit more efforts when you're watering a coir stick and let me show you another important thing as i said that when you water a dry coir stick it is going to repel a lot of water as you can see on the ground a lot of water has spilled because it was repelling all the water but on the other side you can see the coir pole or the coir stick has not repelled any water it immediately started to absorb water so this is the only small little difference that both these sticks have And let me show you the close up of the coir stick. Uh, you can see I just watered the coir stick, but it's still not completely wet. There are still a lot of uh, dry parts on the coir pole. So you can see uh, still there is a lot of uh, parts on the coir stick uh, that is still very dry. So basically, as I said, it takes a lot more time for the coir to get uh, wet. And at the same time, it also tends to dry out a little faster. So this is the only uh, small little disadvantage uh, the coir stick has. But again, guys, it works out really well. Both will work out really well. The only difference is the moss stick will uh, retain the moisture and will get dry slightly slower compared to the coir stick. But both would work out really well. I have been growing my philodendron Brazil on the moss pole stick. And I have been growing my skindapses on the coir stick. And you can see both of them have been doing quite well. They both have been growing very well. So apart from epiphyte plants, you can also use other plants. Like if you have a winding plant, that also tends to work out really well because eventually uh, the winding plants, like the one that I have over here, this is by ornamental sweet potato wine. Over the time when this plant tends to get mature, it tends to put out a lot of aerial roots. So any plant which you feel that tends to put out aerial roots will also work out really well on your uh, moss pole stick or a coir stick. Now this is a coir stick. Now this is around a five feet in height. So this will tend to also work out really well. But probably later on I might uh, shift this plant to a stick because I'm planning to put my Monstera adansonii on this uh, coir stick. So I'll probably move this plant out. Now guys at the end of the day it completely depends upon you which ever you like if you like uh, any plants on your uh, moss pole stick it's completely up to you whether you want to use it as a support system or if you want to use it as an extended uh, vertical growing media it completely depends upon you at the end of the day so guys i hope that this video on moss stick was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting